I had the Bills keeping the following cornerbacks. Tredavious White. What? I know, right? Stupid. Deron Johnson. Even stupider. <laughs> right. Uh, Dane Jackson. Levi Wallace. Saran Neal. And the Goose. The Goose made the team in my book. <laughs> the Goose. So Tredavious White, he's, he's making the team. Levi Wallace, he's proven that he's he's a starter. He's an average star in this league, and he signed for cheap. He's, he's on the team, and he's got rapport with the team. Saran so Neal, special teams god, good man. Teron Johnson going into his final year of his rookie contract proved a lot during the last uh, quarter of the season, and he's got great starting experience. I just hope that he can stay healthy. Dane Jackson definitely showed some promise, especially in that Arizona game against that D-Hop pass and that interception against Sam Darnold in the Jets game. And then Wild Goose, he, he's, a draft, he's a draft pick. So that being said, I had the Bills cutting Cam Lewis. Again, I think this is a player that the Bills really, really, really like. It's just... Tehran has the starting job for right now, and if Rashad Wild Goose, a, a draft pick, decides to, or if they put him in the slot position like the draft network predicted him to do, I just don't really see how a guy like Cam Lewis makes the team over a draft pick, considering he was an undrafted free agent. Elijah Griffin, yeah, it's it's hard to make this team, right? You're a, I'm going to echo what I said before. If you're an undrafted free agent, your chances of making this roster are next to nothing, pretty much. Like Unless you really show out. Like, really, really, really show out. And this doesn't get it easy, easier for a guy like Griffin. So, for those reasons, I had him getting cut. Okay. So, I, I have Trey, Levi... Taron Johnson, Jane Jackson, and Saran Neal. Um, so pretty much the same, but I you cut I the left, goose. I cut the goose. You, the goose I don't want to cut the goose. I want the goose. <laughs> the goose to, is cooked. I want the goose to be the best Buffalo Bills cornerback that ever existed. I want his Ooh. jersey. I want him to sign it. Um, that one. That one for me was. It started to be a numbers game, and I I will say that. Uh, I have at least two of these guys making the practice squad, and I think it's, I think, I think Wild Goose is the insurance policy if we get some of the roller coaster of uh, Taron Johnson again this year. Um, he looked much better towards the tail end of the season, but we have to remember that they benched him for Cam Lewis, and this is true. You know, we we never really saw how that would shake out because Cam Lewis got hurt. What? What, do you, like, break his wrist or something? Yeah, like four plays into his first start. So, you know. He did He did do a solo tackle to Derrick Henry, which was sick. Yeah, that's fun. So, Cam Lewis is on the outs for me. Um, he's got a good story, but I just, I think, it, uh, unfortunately, he had, like, his moment, and it was cut short with injury. Yeah. Sometimes those moments only come around once for guys. Uh, Elijah Griffin, he's he's another one that I, I think ends up right on the practice squad. He's going to be up in the practice squad regulating, you know, okay. like his father, Warren G, <laughs> which is awesome. Right. Uh, right. Nick McLeod gets cut for me as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's uh, cut for me too. Sorry. Yeah, so I, I like the prospect of Wild Goose – in future seasons, uh, especially being that this team seems to like to have that, you know, late round development corner that doesn't have to be like this high pro- profile day one pick. Um, I just, I think he needs some time to, to get groomed a little bit and mm-hmm. just the options ahead of him right now are, are better options. And, and then it just starts being a numbers game. I could see a path to to the roster for him if we say, you know, try him out on some special teams things and he's really performing mm-hmm. and then kind of revisit like a Taiwan Jones, 
um, uh, maybe a Saran Neal, the, the guys that are pretty much around to be special teams aces. Right. If he can, you know, get one of those jobs and be cheaper labor while you groom him for a future position on the team, I could I could see that being a path. Um, and I would personally be a big fan of that path because love Taiwan Jones, love his grit, love everything he's done. Um, but he is getting a little bit long in the tooth, and he doesn't have a cool enough name too. Yeah, uh, but I would I would love to be able to see you know another running back dress on game day that we could have Singletary, Moss, and Brita all active and ready to play, and not have another spot used on a Taiwan Jones. So, okay, we'll see if he could if he could be a a guy that could do that, but. Right. I mean, special teams is mostly run down the field and make a tackle for, for like the say a gunner spot. So easier said than that. done. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do it. 